and welcome to our brand new series, Blackguard Dreams. And you're probably wondering what that means, but we're going to find out right now. So what do we have here? The start of our new series is something that I've always wanted to do with a mobile game. And that is when you start something, let's have two different scenarios. And these two scenarios are number one, we're going to see what happens when we don't have any defenses. I'm sending a shout out to Chief Pat over at Clash of Clans uh, when he did something called the Defenseless, Defenseless Champion series. That one I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that series when he did it and I wanted to see it done in Boom Beach. But also what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, something else with it on top of that. Not just not build any defenses minus the sniper tower that you're made to build in the beginning. And I'm going to decide along the way if we want to even upgrade that or not. It'd be fun to see just one solidly maxed out sniper tower and no other defenses in this, unless the ones that it makes you uh, build along the way. But the other side of this one is we are not going to plan this base at all. Wherever, whenever we build something, wherever it lands, when we select it, we're gonna build it there. So wherever the computer automatically generates whatever building that we build, we're gonna leave that building right there. So not only is it defenseless, but also we are not putting any design into it. We're going to let Boom Beach decide what the player base in this new Boom Beach strategy, Blackguard Dreams is. And that's exactly why I called it Blackguard Dreams. There is zero design into it. And then on top of that, there is no defenses. So what would the Black Guard dream about? Obviously this. So what you're seeing is we are just now getting started. You're seeing that first attack that it makes you do just to show you how to attack. And you're gonna go through a lot of things. Now I can tell you the reason I'm glad that I'm posting this video is for a new player that's out there. One of the mistakes that I made in the beginning was I thought you had to take out everything else because I was used to uh, Clash of Clans. And so when I moved over to playing Boom Beach, I thought that you had to take out everything in order to win. In Boom Beach, it was a lot different. You just had to take out the headquarters. So that one, I didn't know that in the very beginning, so I focused on taking everything out. And it was, and it was an easy transition, obviously. But that's what happened. So what you're about to see, we're about to build our first building. Gold storage landed right there. It will always be in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of those diamonds and finish it out. And then what else do we have? A support building, we have radar. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the radar down and then use some diamonds to go ahead and finish that one off as well. And then we're gonna focus on some upgrades. I am gonna use some diamonds on this one just to expedite the process. But the thing is, there's going to be no defenses, so every time I attack, I'm going to lose everything. So this is why it's going to be super, super important to have, number one, powerful resources, but also great attacks and great troops so we can move forward. I'm going to have some fun with this one. Sharpshooter number one, at least. I'm going to leave that there as long as I can. I don't want to bother them. Any ones that I find that are number one, I'm going to try and leave right there. And it'd be funny to see a maxed out base with number one sharpshooter. And maybe the next time they do a laser tron event, maybe we'll drop some laser trons down for sharpshooter or something. It'll be funny. So here we go. It's our second attack. Um, here's a good strategy. Again, you don't have to take out everything, but I want to have some good energy on this one because this is one of those ones that's kind of tough in the beginning when you're a brand new player because you don't know everything that it does. So in this strategy, what I'm going to do is I'm dropping my troops so they can destroy those. Every time that you destroy barrels, it gives you energy to shoot your weapons. So uh, gun, we call it gunboat energy. So it's taking out, uh, taking out those barrels is giving me more gunboat energy, allowing me to take out those mortars because those mortars are the most dangerous thing right now. That's such a low level machine gun. You can see it doesn't do a huge amount of damage to our riflemen, but that mortar, look at that. If I didn't take it out right then, one more hit would have taken out all the rest of my troops and I wouldn't be winning this one. But we take out the machine gun, the troops go in, the riflemen move forward, and they take out the headquarters on this on this uh, uh, very early computer base. And there we go. Hey, why are they defeated? Why do they want our statues? Why are they smashing our statues? Hey, we'll figure this one out along the process. Now, you'll notice it says in the top left, it says commander. You, you get to pick your own name, 
but you don't get to pick it until you upgrade your your uh, head radar to level two. Now you just saw me get a a uh, supply box, and that's from every time you get five trophies, you get a, a supply box, and then for 20 hours you don't have one. But then uh, I, I just got my supply box, and uh, you saw me take some resources. And most of the time, when it comes out in the future, and if you're watching this, hopefully you're just starting in the future, you do start developing shards and, and different gems that you can use to build statues that help out your troops. And so what we've decided to do is every time that we get resources without gems, we're going to get obviously get resources. Usually they only give you a small number of diamonds and a, a good amount of resources. So take the resources. But anytime you see anything that you can use to build any type of statue, so the, the shards or the gems or anything like that, you want to take those because those are the most powerful things in Boone Beach. So right now, oh, we just got heavies. We're going to end up using those in our second video. But now, as you can see... We have upgraded our headquarters. It might be time. It might be time to start working towards that, that building that radar and then naming our base. Oh, we filled out some troops. Time to move forward. Let's see, we'll do, we'll, we'll explore some more and see if we could do another attack before we move on and start, and start working towards content for the second video. But here we go. We don't want this video to go too long. And oh, here we go. Now, when you have defenses like this or any buildings right next to each other, look what I do. I'm going to go ahead and aim that artillery right there in between. And you saw if you can hit that line perfectly in between, it's a double hit. So you can hit two things, just one. Now, get this. If there were four items there, if you hit that little center spot, well, then that would count as it would hit all four at the same time. And it doesn't deplete the amount of energy that it puts out so it's something that you really want to do in the future and master that strategy so there we go we have finished we have finished most of the little pop-ups that are going to happen with the guys with the riflemen and the and the and the and the residents of the archipelago that are going to speak to us and now it's really on us very simple startup strategy start up strategy i absolutely love the how boom beach has has made this startup and how I've seen develop it over years because I do have another account that I play a lot on. Without updating any troops, I love seeing it rain. We're gonna go ahead and attack this one. We're just gonna drop the troops and take out that mortar. There we go, we dropped the rifleman down. They're gonna go ahead up there, take out that sniper tower. Just rush the sniper tower. It's okay to lose a couple troops on this one. So we go ahead and drop that sniper tower down. We should get some energy, some gunboat energy back. And what we're gonna do is take that and use it against the mortar. There we go, the mortar goes behind us. And then we're gonna go on to another victory against this headquarters. Great little attack, great fun startup. I love starting this game new. I love the startup phase of this game. It is so much fun. You know, those people we just attacked, what, they're called the Black Guard. Why do they keep making us smash our statues? Because they want the gems inside. It is time to upgrade our radar. And here's what happens when you upgrade the level two upgrade. And by what name would you like to be known, Commander? And here we go. We're going to use our Instagram and Twitter handle. And that is at new boom beach hey i hope you enjoyed that little startup video the first one's always going to be the longest but i promise the other ones are going to be great i'm looking forward to blackguard dreams and remember we're not getting to pick supercell the computer itself boom beach is determining where our buildings are and we're going to have no defenses i'm kind of scared i'm going to hate logging into it every time but it's going to be a great journey i hope you enjoy it too